notes, man. I want to shout out to Sugar Free, man. Sugar Free dropped a new album, Resurrection, man. I wanted to shout out to Sugar Free. I listened to the, the Resurrection album, man. To me, it was pretty tight, man. Um, uh, I'm going to say, man, it's the best old nigga album out right now, man. Out of all the old niggas. And, you know, it's and to me, it's dope. It's just everybody else's album, motherfuckers, youngins dropping and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? I know it might go over a lot of the youngins' heads, man. They might not be able to slow down and take in that free like they need to. You feel me? Because free be spitting spittin some, uh, some real nice game on there, man. Don't be thinking with your dick, boy. That was an excellent cut featuring Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg verse was real tight, too. You know, niggas, it was real good. It is a really good album. But it got, like, it got like that old nigga feel to it a little bit. It got that old nigga feel, but it sound new. Um, they got a cut on there, man. One cut I didn't like, though, man, because they kind of remade bullshitting a little bit. I, I, I don't be liking it when niggas be trying to re- T- touch old beats like that man just leave it alone but other than that you know i like the whole shit man it was uh you know free to spit a lot of a lot of game a lot of little pieces of intricate game in there that he didn't own it for doing that you know putting them little them, them them segments together on y'all niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I enjoyed it, man. Shouts out to Sugar Free, man. That that album right there. Niggas need to check the resurrection, man. Free gonna be coming around. He, he you know, man, it's hard for niggas, man, you know, like for the, I don't know, man. I've been um exploring this uh I've been trying to understand this thing, man, with music, man, where, you know, um, you know, some type of way, um, niggas be, you know, like old school artists and shit, you feel me? Like, say somebody like Snoop Dogg, or, you know, uh, you know, even T.I., everybody that's, like, kind of, like, been out for a while, after a while, you know, when niggas' albums drop, it's not, um, it don't, it's almost like it don't resonate with the youth no more, like, um, even though, the music is good, and and you know what I'm saying. But w- the only nigga that been able to pull it off so far, kinda, is E40, I think. And he be having problems now. Like his ain't guaranteed like that even no more. You feel me? It's hard to get in there with a good cut, you know, that resonated it with the youth. I don't know if it's the labels pushing certain shit on motherfuckers, but the youth know. You feel me? The the youth shit go to the youth top. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because motherfuckers know you old. But see, that's that's always fascinating to me, though. Like, I guess, like, it's a complete relatability type of thing. Like, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm struggling to understand a dynamic of, of niggas aging and the music and shit and staying current relevant it's like niggas be struggling to stay current relevant like it's it's a trip even though sugar free album is dope i just know that it's regulated to that certain area you know it's it's it's, it's just a bizarre thing you know i'm always fascinated by that anyway 